Hey everyone, this is Yan from Devolutions with this week's Remote Desktop Manager Pro Tip. Now here at Devolutions, we try to provide you tools that will help uh, increase your productivity and your use of Remote Desktop Manager. Now one of those tools that we have is called Devolutions Web Login, and it's a browser plugin or extension that lets you use your favorite browser to pull credentials from your vault and put them directly into the website that you're loading up. It's pretty simple and it's pretty standard with password managers nowadays. So if you're a heavy remote desktop manager user, this is a really cool tool so that you don't have to remember all those passwords or copy and paste passwords directly from remote desktop manager. So here I'm logged in in remote desktop manager and I am currently logged in as Maurice and I'm gonna be using Maurice's uh, user vault to store some of his credentials in. So I'm gonna visit some websites, store some credentials, and we'll take a look at that, as well as also visit websites that currently have credentials of them so you could see kind of the interaction of how the plugin works. So I'm gonna head on over to devolutions.net and this is where we can download the plugin. So I'm gonna click on products and then companion tools, and then select web login there. It's a free tool, so it's always nice to get free stuff. As of this release of this video, uh, we support the following four browsers. And uh, I'm gonna use Chrome, because that's the one I'm using right now. I'm gonna say add to Chrome as an extension. Yes. Now, I'm gonna go to the little puzzle icon here. And I'm gonna pin it because I kinda like seeing it up there all the time. That way I know I'm using it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Devolutions web login setup in Chrome. And I'm gonna select the, the tool or application that I'm using. In this case, I'm using Remote Desktop Manager. I'm gonna click Save. And then now it's going to prompt me to pair it with the Remote Desktop Manager that I'm running. Now the default name here is the name of the browser. That way I know uh, what's linked with it. So Chrome is good. Associate with Remote Desktop Manager, yes. And I click on it. RDM is gonna pop up and confirm with this window. It says, yes. And now we are connected. Now, before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you a couple of the options here. First of all, uh, when you load into a website that has a credential, there'll be a little number that'll pop up there to show you how many credentials are available. It's kind of handy. You can actually add websites manually if you want, or here will be a list of websites that are currently available, and I'll show you that in a second here. There's also a handy dandy password generator if you want to, so you can specify how uh, complex you want it. You can give it some specific criteria if you want. So this is kind of helpful as well if you want to use that feature. In the settings button here, I'm gonna click that. It's gonna open up the uh, settings window. In the general window, there's a couple different options we can select. For example, um, we can show the little icon in the field. So when a credential field pops up, a little one or two or three, depending on how many credentials are available, will show up in there. That's kind of helpful. There's a couple of different dialogues and options that you can select if you want. You can even color credential fields in the browser window so that you know that it's a credential. And as always, we can do light or dark theme. Also, depending on what data source or application you're using, uh, there's other um, specific settings that you might want to set. So I'm going to go to Remote Desktop Manager here. And here it says, would you like to enable this app? Yes. Do you want to use a default port? Yes. Or you can change that if you want and you can even specify what folder you want it to go into. Now, I actually just want it to go into the root folder and it's gonna go by default in my user vault. Now, I can unselect this if I want it to go into the main vault that I'm in. So there's also actions. You can retrieve credentials on a page load, that's nice. You can even fill in the credentials so when you load up a page, it automatically pops in there. And if you want to, you can actually even have it uh, when the page loads it can automatically fill in the credentials and you can even submit the form after. But it depends on your environment. Most people don't really click this, but it might be helpful for you. All right, so I'm gonna click save and I'm happy with those settings and I'm gonna get out of here right now. So here's a local internet site that uh, Maurice has to access on a daily basis. And uh, right now he wants to log in. So normally Maurice just types in his username and password. Now, oh, lo and behold, there is a uh, credential already saved. Now, if I click on it here, you can actually see this is his corp at windjammer.net. Well, that's not Maurice's login. He wants to use it under his own personal business account. I'm gonna go ahead and put in his username and password here, and we're gonna see what happens. And once he logged in, notice that this add website dialog window popped up. I'm gonna rename it to windjammer intranet. Okay, and then on, that's fine that it has his username there, it's helpful. You can even specify a folder if you want. You can do it in the user vault or you can actually specify a sp another vault that you want it to go into. I'm gonna say user vault. Now I'm gonna click save 
and now it says your credentials have been successfully added. Now, just for proof's sake, let's check out Remote Desktop Manager. And in Remote Desktop Manager, oh, you can see here that this is the credential that just been added. Now, obviously you can move it around, you can put it in folders, but this is where the credential has been added. So this is kind of nice to know. Now, obviously, if ever I wanna come back to this site, can I just click on this little uh, world icon here and then it'll pop it up for you. And then now I can actually select which credential I want, either directly in the field or if I want to, I can actually select this one. So if I select the corp, you'll notice the corp uh, credentials load in. But if I select the Maurice ones, the Maurice credentials log in. So this is pretty helpful, especially if you're an admin and you have access to multiple credentials and you have to do different jobs depending on it. Now, what's nice is, once again, I don't even have to know this password. Now, Maurice is an admin, so he can see the passwords, but this could be great for your other users so they can use the password, they just can't view it. So I can add the websites directly on the websites that I go to and just let the plugin uh, bring up that pop-up window. But you're also more than welcome to uh, go into Remote Desktop Manager and import a bunch of credentials to be used. Now, if you import a bunch of credentials, the only thing you wanna make sure that they have is that once you go into the properties, you'll wanna make sure that the credential here is a website credential and it has this enable devolutions web login because if you disable this uh, web login won't be able to pick it up so that's always good to know if you're trying to load up if you want a credential to be available for remote desktop managers to use so as you can see it's very very simple to use very handy tool and it's absolutely free and also what's nice is devolutions web login or dwl for short it works with remote desktop manager uh, devolutions password hub personal devolutions password hub business and devolutions server as well so it works with all of our products and we hope that it's useful for you thanks again for watching these videos if you like this type of content make sure that you like and subscribe to these videos so that that tells me that you enjoy these and we'll come up with more of these thanks again and have a great rest of your week